we'll come back this time around we are looking at uh, the shortest distance over the surface of the face so we have a question on the board here what is the shortest distance over the Earth's surface between A, 32 degrees north, 8 degrees west, and B, 40 degrees north, 172 degrees east? So, that is our latest question. We are looking at the um, um, shortest distance between any two places. For example, we are given the two places A and B. Now, Looking at the way the question is, looking at the location of the two places A and B, you can see by looking at the coordinates you have A, 32 north, 8 degrees west, and B, we have 40 degrees north, 172 degrees east. Okay, looking at the coordinates, uh, that these places have, looking at the coordinates that these places have, uh, it's somehow confusing to note that um, it seems everything, longitudes, latitudes, are different by the look of things. You have 32, you have 40, you have 8, you have 172. Now, the way things are in this case, not everything is different. You can see. We have 8 degrees west and 172 degrees east. This is actually the same longitude, but on different sides of the earth. This side, this side here where we are, it is 8 degrees west. Now, the other side of the earth, the same latitude, the same longitude is 172 degrees east. It is actually the same longitude, but viewed from two different uh, sides. This side of the earth, this side of the earth, it is 8 degrees west. The other side, going the other side, behind there, it is actually 172 degrees east. So you can see that the two points A and B are, are diametrically opposite. They are diametrically, they are diametrically opposite. They are diametrically opposite. What we mean by diametrically opposite is that, okay, they could be on different latitudes, but as long as they are on the same longitude, one this side, the other, the other side of the earth, then the two places are diametrically opposite. Actually, for two places to be diametrically opposite, um, the, the, difference, the difference in longitude should be, should be 180. The difference in longitude should be 180 because actually it is the same longitude viewed from two different uh, places. Viewed from here, 80 degrees, the other side, 172 degrees. So, what you do when you meet such a question, you say you first determine whether the two places are diametrically opposite by trying to add the longitudes. You try to add the longitude. So, let us add the longitude we have. 80 degrees plus 172 degrees. This actually gives us a 180 degrees. Now, what does this 180 degrees mean? This 180 degrees means the two places are diametrically opposite. Okay? The two places are diametrically opposite. Meaning that they are on the same longitude. One on this side, the other, the other, the other point on the other side. The other side, the back of the, the, the globe. That's what it means. But on the same longitude, but one here, the, the other one, the other side. You can see A is here. Now, going over the North Pole, the other side there, we have B. So the same longitude continues. It continues even the other side. Now, when it continues even the other side, the other side it is called 172 degrees east. This side is, it is called 8 degrees west, but actually it is the same longitude. Now, the other side, it assumes a special name, another name, which is just almost the same as the, this one. Now, the way you find out that they are diametrically opposite, you try to add, and if you get 180, then the two places are diametrically opposite. And when they are diametrically opposite, what do you do to get the shortest distance? Actually, 
actually, in fact, the shortest distance is over the this um, the same long field. Um, and actually, the shortest distance between any two places is the distance along any great circle. It is the distance along any great great circle. So you can see there are two routes of go going from A to B. You can go over this long field, or you can go um, via via. Actually, here there is just one way here. There is just one way here by the great circle, which is this long field. Okay. The other way could be by another by another great circle. By another great circle. Here you can just look at the, uh, this great circle. This great circle. This same long field. Okay. So now the way you do it, the way you do it. Once you determine that the two places are diametrically opposite by adding, and once you get 180 after adding, what you do is you just need to get your C term degrees. You get your C term degrees. And the way you get your C term degrees, you say 180 minus C, the attitudes that are given. Just get your theta degrees. Then the way you get your theta degrees, you say 180 degrees minus C, the sum of the latitudes that you have. You have. So here the latitudes we have 32 and 40 degrees. So we just sum them. We just sum them. We're looking at our case, we just sum them. So we just say 32 plus 72. Ah, 32 plus 40. Then we get 72, then we subtract from 180, so that we get 108 degrees. So this 108 degrees will be our, our theta. So our theta is 108 degrees. Okay. Now, if suppose we want our shortest distance in nautical miles, then we just say theta times 60 nautical miles. Then we'd have gotten our shortest distance. So actually, we just say um, 108 times 60 degrees, 60 nautical miles. And our shortest distance for this one in nautical miles would be 108 times 60. So 108 times 60. This would give us 64 nautical miles. So this is our, our shortest distance in, in nautical miles. So the two places are diametrically opposite. How we find out if they are diametrically opposite, we add the long tails. If you get 180, as soon as you get 180, we add the, we add the latitudes. Whenever we get to subtract from 180, then that will be our theta, then we multiply by, by 60, we get our distance in nautical miles. Now, suppose we, we, we want to get our distance in kilometers, then we'd say, we'd say, if we want to get our distance in kilometers, then we'd say, uh, our shortest distance is equal to theta, now theta is in, over 180 times 5 times 5 times R. So this is along a long field. Any shortest distance is along a great circle. Long fields are great circles. So no need of saying cos of theta. Okay, so theta, now our theta, we have 108 over, over 180 times 5. We use the 5 that we have given. Times the R is equal to three kilometers. Then our shortest distance will be um, one zero eight over one eighty times twenty two over seven times sixty three seventy. This is giving us four thousand. So this is our shortest distance now in kilometers. It is 
much as giving us 4,000 uh, in full cost tax. Okay, so this is basically how we get our shortest distance. Um, this is basically how we get our shortest distance. We find out if the two places are diametrically opposite. We try to find out by adding the longitudes. Once we find out that they are diametrically opposite, if we get 180, then we add the adjectives, then we subtract from 180, then we have gotten our theta. This is a special case. You only get your theta uh, this way when you are calculating shortest distance. When you are calculating distances along latitudes and longitudes, you don't get our theta this way. Okay. Um, there could be some who could be asking to say, why are we getting our theta on shortest distance this way? The reason is, eh? okay, so the reason why we are getting our theta in that way, where we are adding the latitudes, then we subtract from one way, the reason is actually here. You can see our theta in this angle here between here. The two places A and B are on different uh, latitudes. So you can see A is on 32 degrees north and B is on 40 degrees north. So actually we are going over the north pole. You see the distance that we are calculating in this way. Okay. So the theta that we are supposed to use is that one at the center of the earth, at the equator. That is the, the theta that we are supposed to use. Okay. So now using this theta or getting this theta. We know the way longitudes, we know the way latitudes are named. Latitudes are named according to how many degrees they are away from the equator. So you can see for this one to be 40 degrees north, then it means from the equator moving upwards, this is it. This angle here is it, 40. Also, why this one is called 30 degrees north, 32 degrees north, is because this angle from the equator going upwards to this 32 degrees. Angle is 180. So now you want this piece to here, this piece here. So from 180, you need to subtract this one. Also, you need to subtract this one. Then the remainder will actually be the foot. So the remainder will subtract from uh, uh, 180, 32, and 42. The remainder is just to rise here. This is uh, our foot because we are going over the, over the pole here. Over the pole. So that's how. Our theta. So whenever we are calculating shortest distance, then our theta is actually this angle here that we have shown here. It is not like when you are getting distance along latitudes and longitudes where we get the difference in either latitudes or longitudes as our theta. When you are getting the shortest distance, the way you get your theta is different from the way you get your theta. Thank you very much.